Hey there guys, I'm back to another video. Today I just want to talk about the Fire Emblem Direct that happened this past week. Uh, they announced a bunch of new games on the 3DS, the uh, new 3DS, uh, the Switch, and then their mobile Fire Emblem game that they announced a while back and they finally showed it off. So first up, let's go and get into that new 3DS game that they are, or just, you know, a new 3DS game, not new 3DS software. Oh my god, stupid naming but anyways uh, there is a brand new 3ds game that is going to come out within the fire emblem series this is a uh, remake or remaster reimagining however you want to word it of the second fire emblem game that was only released in japan and is finally coming to the 3ds uh, for fans outside of japan and that is very exciting especially for a new fire emblem fan like myself uh, i've only known fire emblem for you know ever since like i guess smash bros brawl you know i've only known of you know like marth ike roy all of those characters but i've never really played any of the games and I've only gotten into the Fire Emblem series through Awakening, and that game was fantastic. And then I, uh, you know, got Fate, and, you know, that game's pretty good. I've not, I've not finished it yet, but it's still, you know, a pretty good Fire Emblem game. And now that they have announced this new one, that is a uh, remake, or re reimagining, whatever the heck you want to call it, of uh, the second Fire Emblem game, that is really, really exciting. And um, I don't think they announced a release date. If they did, it's on your screen right now. But um, yeah, so moving on, uh, they announced that they are making a Fire Emblem game for the Switch, like a mainstream RPG Fire Emblem game. Uh, it's been since the Wii that they have released a Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem game on home consoles. So this is sort of exciting, you know. Um, a brand new Fire Emblem game on the Switch, especially since the Switch can be taken on the go with ease. So that is very, very exciting. And then they shut off a little bit of gameplay of Fire Emblem Warriors, which is pretty much uh, Hyrule Warriors, but with a Fire Emblem skin on it. And you know what? It looks pretty good. I hope that it is good. Um, depending, depending on the price of it, I might pick it up at launch, you know, because I love Hyrule Warriors. I've, I've not finished it either. But, you know what, I loved my time with it, it was really, really fun, and hopefully with Fire Emblem Warriors, uh, I can, you know, get into that and finish it and enjoy it for what it is. And then, after all of, you know, the Switch, the 3DS, oh, also, um, the Fire Emblem Warriors game is coming to the new 3DS software, so if you have a new 3DS and want to play it on there and not on the Switch, you can play it on there. But obviously, it won't look or run as well, I guess. I, I'm, I'm assuming, because, you know, when you move from a 3DS to a Nintendo Switch, uh, obviously there's going to be some difference there in terms of performance. Um, and then lastly, they, for like the last half of the show, they just showed off Fire Emblem Warriors, which is their new mobile uh, Nintendo game, and it's Fire Emblem. So pretty much all of the Fire Emblem characters are within this game, and it's sort of like an RPG. You can play it on the go, and it looks pretty good, you know. It, it doesn't look terrible, mind you. Uh, it looks, you know, all right. Uh, if you watched the direct and saw the gameplay of it, it looked, you know, not that bad. So, um, depending on uh, what restrictions they put on it and stuff like that, because there are obviously microtransactions for you to use and stuff like that. Um, I'm not exactly like, sure if there's going to be like a, you know, certain limit on on like how many times you can play throughout a, you know, certain period of time I'd imagine that there would be like most other uh, mobile games that do that sort of thing but this is Nintendo we're talking about they could do again a flat rate price and you know just have the microtransactions there just to have microtransactions but we'll just have to go and wait and see exactly on what that situation is so um, yeah I think that is about it for the Fire Emblem Direct uh, I thought the Direct was overall pretty good um, you know we got to learn about a lot new Fire Emblem stuff and you know that's pretty exciting especially as a new Fire Emblem fan like myself so um, what are some of your games that you are excited for from this Direct you know are you excited for the Fire, Fire Emblem Warriors game are you excited for the uh, new 3DS game uh, just tell me in the comments below I will be sure to read them and respond so um, I think that's about it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have not already subscribed, I put new videos up every Saturday. If you guys want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, you can do that as well. I do occasionally put updates of my future videos on there and other stuff that I talk about within the gaming world. Um, there are videos on your, on your screen right now. You can go and click on those. And um, uh, yeah, uh, I think that is about it. Thank you guys for watching this video again. Now, see you guys next time with more videos. Game on, gamers!